This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 272 for Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018. This is Brian. And this is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back. I leave for one week. <laughs> we get rebellious <laughs> and oh rowdy. Oh, heavens. Take over. Eric did a really good job. Yeah, yeah, he did good. So did good. I think he should just do it instead of me. Hey, Lisa. Oh, crap. <laughs> what? What do you call? I have no idea. A grumpy pest control person. <laughs> a grumpy pest control person. Yep. Grumpy pest control person. I don't know. Buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. That's actually funny. Mark it oh down. Oh my god, the, the first one <laughs> in history. There ought to be like streamers going. Whew. I bet Allie can make some kind she of like. She can do something. Like on Facebook, yes. they know yeah, when you wish you know, people happy birthday. It's like, woo! Yeah. There we go. All right. Wow, the first I one in months. how many that's a long time. months? Buzzkill. Buzzkill. <laughs> God. Anyway. It's all going to go downhill from here. It's I can awesome. tell. It's really bright in here. I think I'm wearing shades next week. New and exciting products this week. Speaking of bright? Um, I just, my, my own segue. Okay. Lamy Safari All Black. It's not bright. Well, it's not. <laughs> but, um, this you know, year's special edition Safari. There it is. We um, we did get to see these when we were down in Chicago. The um, distributor they, came to see us. They look different in person than they did when we saw them. Uh, these are different than the Safari Shiny Black, and they are different from the Charcoal. charcoal. Yep. Yeah, these are really, really dark and compared stealthy. Compared yep. to, uh, to the charcoal, you can definitely see yep. a difference. We should have had one up here to compare. We'll have another picture. All right. There you go. Um, uh, yeah, and I, I, you know, I like. I actually like the ballpoint. The ballpoint looks really cool. That's the charcoal. Oh, there's a charcoal here. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, oh, it looks... look at you. I just need to look. Um, yeah. So you all know, black. I, I, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed because they do such. A, Lamy does such a great job with. Um, they're limited most of the time. Enough with the neon already, Lamy. Um, but the dark lilac was gorgeous. The yep. petrol was a great color. Yeah, petrol was great last um, year. Yep. So what is it that they're missing with this? I don't know. Well, ink. Yeah. Well, there's no really awesome. This color still has. Ink this still has. You know, it's black. The pen's cool though. It's got. It is. It's got. A, it's got that texture to it. Um, you know, so it's not just a uh, a plain. I I have to tell you, I'm into ballpoints right now. I like the ballpoint. The ballpoint. I do. I like nice. the ballpoint. Yeah. Um, so ballpoint rollerball fountain pen. I got my Visconti ballpoint. You I kind of like the Lamy ballpoints. I think this could be a problem. Yeah, these are cool. So we're going to se segue right into that. We've got uh, a good selection now. We're starting to carry the the ballpoint. <laughs> are you done? No, it's come on. They're they're clicky. They are they're cool, fun. but I'm trying to talk here. Well, maybe that's your first problem. <laughs> um, no, these are cool. But the ballpoints and rollerballs. Actually, there was a price decrease on them, uh, which is pretty cool. It makes yes. them super affordable. They're, they're nearly bomb proof. And they're clicky. Um, yeah, the, the ballpoints are clicky. They got that little rubber thing. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice design. It's a good size. Um, there is a bit of the uh, Lamy triangular grip at the end, so you hold it properly uh, in the right spot. You've got that awesome paper clip clip. The paper clip clip? Paper clip Say clip. that 10 times fast. Paper clip clip, paper clip clip. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> It's it's a nice um, yeah it's a cool pen uh, enough it's, with the with the click yeah. but it has a nice um, it's feel different. It's different. you can tell when you depress it and mm -hmm. let it go mm -hmm. uh, I know that there are a couple ball points we have where it's like did I you're not sure yeah. is it all the way down is it engaged no these so. are cool and the the uh, the all stars have you know they have that transparent section just like the the fountain pens do um, I like them plain you know really nice just uh, inexpensive. Easy to throw in. It's a good backup, if nothing yeah, else. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's got the click. And they're 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 reasonably it's inexpensive. Clicky. I think you're gonna mix these up. There you go. Well, it's not my job to keep them straight. Um, also available, all black and ball points and rollables also available in our Chicago location. Yes. So go see the gang. Make them work. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, they're they're actually doing really well down there. Yep. They're they're working hard. But you know, yeah, the, go in and say hi. The other thing we should point out is I have heard people take the rollerball 
barrel. Okay. And they take that barrel off and they put the fountain pen section on and you can, if you put a little silicone grease, maybe an O-ring on there, you can make an eyedropper. Oh. I've never tried it, but I've heard it can be done. Because on the fountain pen, obviously, you have that hole, so right. you can't uh, you can't make an eyedropper. But this is a solid barrel. And hmm. uh, Maybe. So, anyway. All right. Uh, that's, Let's play that's with option. that afterwards. Faber-Castell, Loom. So, this year, Faber-Castell discontinued a bunch of looms. Metallics. Uh, all the metallic colors. So the metallic blue, the metallic purple, the Violets, metallic orange, yep, orange. And the. They're keeping the silver? No, I think they got rid of that okay. too. They so gave all the metallics are gone. And then in the shiny, the piano, they got rid of all of the colors except the white and the black, um, which personally I think is a mistake. I liked the metallic better the because metallics it wasn't. Metallics were nice, yep. yep. It, I, I like the metallic body better. But. They the came, new ones are nice. So they, they, have, the, they, have, with, the, they have the gunmetal first. Yes, they came the gunmetal. Gun which is, and which those is are good. staying. Yep, yep. And then there are these, the new colors, metallic, light blue, Yep. olive green. I like the olive green. I, I like the light blue. I wish it was, it, it's lighter than the metallic blue. That's because it's a light blue. I know, it's but it's, it's similar. Like if you're going to do it, do it differently. <laughs> it's not that much different. So it's, 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 blue, it's significantly different. The olive green <laughs> and, the, and the gray. Gray. Um, on the piano, basically on the piano platform, so shiny these barrel. Are metallic light blue, metallic olive green, but these are the piano. Yeah, piano, yep. The piano yes. metallic. Yes. Oh, got um, it. Fountain pen, rollerball, ballpoint. The olive green is kind of cool. The olive green is nice, yeah. The olive green nice. metallic piano. Yeah. <laughs> what did you. <laughs> it's. There's rum in my coke. No, uh, there's I'm something. I'm kidding. Um, no, nice, n- nice, new, nice new colors. Finally, uh, at least is a decent, decent replacement for some of the metallics. Yes, and um, I like that it's an option. In addition to the gunmetal, I I like a, a lighter, brighter. Yeah. yeah. Um, so pen. good options. Those are coming soon. They're available in Chicago right yes. now, uh, but they're arriving soon for a website and Appleton store. Awesome. Uh, so other n- other news. Nice to have you back. I guess I've been gone. Brian uh, and Dave were and I, gone. I wrangled Dave and threw him in the car. So and the, the problem with that was I had to work in the store. And I don't do much of that anymore. So it was really a humbling experience. I didn't like it. Well, it's, it's good for you. I don't like it. It's good for you. I don't like being humbled. But uh, um, <laughs> it was good. We have the new point of sale. So I actually rang up a sale or two on that. So I'm feeling accomplished. There you go. There you go. Um, but Where I was gone. Go? I went with Dave. We went to the Nashua Pen Spa in Nashua, New Hampshire. Did you get Manny Petties? No, we did not get Manny <laughs> Petties. Uh, my pens, however, did get uh, some adjustments. Uh, basically, the uh, I hate to say an annual because it's not really annual, but uh, Richard Binder gives uh, every year a Almost nib every year. master nib workshop, um, and so for three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You go, you learn how to do his binderizing technique, polishing, smoothing, straightening nibs, um, and then two intense days of grinding. So you get into um, stubs, cursive italics, italics, uh, obliques, architect, uh, his italifine uh, grind, and, and some other stuff. And so we, we sat there and we ground nibs for, for two days, straightened for, and uh, polished for a third, and uh, had a good time. Good. So and you learned and Dave, a lot. Yep. You and Dave drove out. Took two days to drive out. Yep. Two days to drive back. Um, Stopped at the Chicago store on the way back. Yes. So and, Dave could uh, see that. Dave could see the store. And yep. they could meet Dave. Yep. Um, Friday night on your way back, you stopped at my mom's. Yep. Said hi to your mom. Yep. And so. picked up two rugs for me. I am yes. shocked at how much you can fit you can, in the trunk of the Corvette. You can fit a lot in the back of a vet, so... I told I was, you, you could. I was, I, well, who, who listens? But, you know, <laughs> two big um, braided rag rugs that my grandmother had made, and my mom is working on downsizing. So um, I opted to, uh, to take them. She, she knows that anything from Graham is a weak point right. with me. So as she continues to declutter, that may be a problem. One was about five feet. Five by eight. One was five by eight, and one was about five feet in diameter. So I'm impressed um, at how... Well, you got oh, those in yeah, the I car. Got them in I got them in. So I'm so, excited. Um, that was good. We got back yesterday, yesterday mm-hmm. afternoon, 
uh, relaxed up. Here we are in the office today. So, um, you know, it was really quiet while you were gone. I had the office to myself. I got here early every day. I stayed late every day. Uh, Eric and I went to IKEA on Saturday. That was exhausting. Um, I'd never been. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was stuff. it was good. Um, so, and then I should say this is my second time at Richard. Yes, so this is your second, second time. time. You so. went two years ago, uh, and you went with David and Janet Wright last mm -hmm. time as well. David and Janet Wright, yeah. Um, good awesome. friends of ours, great people. I think it was a really good group for the yep. four of you, yep. especially since three of you had already done this and Dave mm -hmm. was new. Yeah, it was nice, nice to do um, 201, as it were, um, get back in and do it, and everything really sank in a lot more this time. So Good, good. Uh, but anyway... Next week, uh, Raleigh Penn Show coming up next week already. Um, already? Already, and uh, that's going to be good. That kind of kicks off the, the summer almost, the summer Penn Show season. Um, and what's the problem with that? There used to not be a Penn Show so season in the summer, and now well, we've got Well, now we got show. St. Louis. Is I know. Kind of that's going to be awesome. Last one. That'll be good. So. It's for your birthday. They, they <laughs> arranged a Penn Show for your birthday. I mean, I get a pen on my birthday. You get a cake. I get a, oh, whatever. Raleigh Penn Show next week. Um, auction, a um, couple days of, of show. It's going to be good. It's always always a, always a good show. It's run by Terry May Hoarder uh, and family. And um, good, smaller size show. Yep, yep. Uh, Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the weather should be good. Should um, be nice, yeah. Should have no travel drama. Um, yeah, just, it's, it's really a... A low key kind of show. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Very friendly. Uh, definitely. If, you, if you're in the area, make it out. It's a, it's it's a good time. Um, what else? Right after that, our next Chicago event. Yes. Um, at the Chicago store, June eighth and ninth, Retro Fifty One, uh, with Jennifer Summers. Uh, she's our our uh, retro uh, rep. And that's going to be fun. We're going to do Friday uh, noon to 5 on the 8th and Saturday 10 to 3. Yep. Um, and so we're going to have um, fountain pen testers. So Retro's got some fountain pens and they have different nibs. So we're going to have those out there. They're decent little writers. Yep. I think that they, they are underrated. Um, I think they're underrated and overlooked. How's that? Yeah, there's Pretty there's good. some nice colors, especially last year when they came out with the new, oh, like new the, the peacock, peacock yep, and the yep, orange, the black cherry, and yep. you know some of those other colors. And this week, Retro announced a whole new uh, group of their their, their, their their summer lineup, as it were. Um, so we're hoping to have that. They're uh, licensing anytime. Kiss mm -hmm. pens and something from the Smithsonian, and they've added uh, a few things to yep. a couple other different categories. P51 Mustang, so that's cool. Yeah. So we're, we're going to have all that new stuff, hopefully. Uh, that, sh that should make it in time uh, for the Chicago event, but it'll be June 8th and 9th. There will be giveaways. There'll be T-shirts. we got T-shirts, yep. And notebooks, notebooks to and give away. Uh, so. And who knows what else. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, ha we'll have a good time. So, again, that's uh, Friday the 8th, noon to 5, and Saturday the 9th. Uh, 10 to 3, so uh, be a good time. And then we're going to have events every weekend for the next three weeks after, the two weeks after that. Yes, Retro, um, Sailor, Pilot, and David Oscarson. Pilot and David Oscarson, And yeah. then we do St. Louis. Yep. And then Yaffa, which is okay. Conklin and... Pniter. Pniter and Monteverdi Stipula, yeah. and Stipula and all that. So um, just back to back to but back to back busy. We'll keep you updated every week as, we, as we're chalking through them, so... Um, and then uh, Platinum is in August. Okay, good. Between, I can't wait for that one. That one's in between be the DC yep. Yep. and the San Francisco show. Okay. So that should be wow. good. And I'm not sure who's going to go from Platinum. I think they're fighting over mm. John Carroll and Bryce. Who's going to go? Any way you play it, that's good. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be fun. Anything else you want to talk about real quick? We're pretty much... I don't think so. We're um, just oh. trying to get used to being back home. And, that was um, the one that was gone. But, I mean, we were gone for quite a while. I'm used to you being back home. I'm trying to get used to that again. I had the bed to myself. I had the coffee pot to myself. Yeah. So, so here right. you are. Well, 
Welcome back. Thank you. I think that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. And whatever else we and talk whatever about. whatever else we have to talk about. So. Uh, follow our blog for news, ink reviews, uh, Chicago pen events, and uh, all other fun stuff. And follow us on social media as Anderson Pence. Have a great day, everyone.